Hi folks, welcome to another Craig's Hack for Tableau. Today I would like to show you how to hack your way around access labels to get them to show instead of at the bottom, at the top of your viz. So this particular hack becomes important when you're starting to work with mobile vizs. And let me show you by way of example. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this sheet and we'll call it country sales 2015 and we'll pop that onto a dashboard and we're going to use the device manager so let's have a look at the device preview and let's go with a phone and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the layout where is it? Oh, no, we add the phone layout first and then we fit the width Okay, so you can see that works okay. You can still see those three labels. However, when we start scrolling down the bottom of the page, a la if we were to drill through to here, for example, you can see those access labels at the bottom of our viz are not going to work for us. So what are these three numbers? We don't know. We've got to scroll all the way down and we still can't see them. So let me show you how we might get our, work our way around that one. So let's go back to that uh, viz we had before and find it. There. Okay, so let me walk you through how to do it. So what I'd like to do is add a fourth measure up here called zero. What we're going to do is we're going to use this as the basis of our dual axis. You can see those zeros have started to appear there. I'm going to put that over to the left and I'm going to make this sales figure a dual axis. What that's going to do is combine those two together and hey, we've got the word sales up there. That's what we're looking for. But we've got a nasty byproduct. We've got all these zeros that we have to get rid of. So, a quick way to do that is to knock the transparency down to zero. I always like to get rid of the borders just in case. And if you're being really robust, knock the size right down and get rid of the label. And Tableau being Tableau, decided that we're going to have uh, dots now, or circles, so let's just make sure that we've got bars. And the last thing is we've got some measure names in there we can get rid of. Cool. All right, so uh, let us now also format our zero lines out of the way. So a bit of work, but we're almost there. We're just going to now double click on the axis. Thanks for Curtis Harrison crew for cluing me in on that one just the other day. We're going to get rid of this title and we're going to turn the tick marks off. All right, so a bit of work, but we've we've got ourselves what we want. Now let's do the same thing over here. So we're going to drag, control drag that sum zero, right, mouse click, dual axis, click on the zeros, color is zero, percent, size is tiny, labels are nothing, axis is gone. Cool, one more time, let's get the zero again over here. Dual axis, click on the zero, color is zero percent, size is tiny, labels are gone. And let's just clean up this axis. We're there. We now have our labels at the top of the view. If we go back to our new dashboard that we created, There it is there. We can see we now have the labels at the top of the viz and if we were to drill through, we, we keep our labels at the top. It gives us a bit of context as to how we um, retain those. So that's a, uh, stay tuned for another episode of Craig's Hacks where I'll show you how to get this viz looking a bit nicer so that we don't have to actually do a drill through. Uh, we can do a dynamic action based drill through. So hope you enjoyed that hack, Craig's hack. Thanks for tuning in and happy busying.